Well, hello there. We're back. And we're here to have a good time today. Okay? Um, <laughs> today, we're going to be exploring the sewers, first of all. Okay? We're going to be exploring the sewers underneath Lane Dell. Which means that I'm starting at the underground roadside grace, it says. Um, this one, which is, I think, the one in the sewers. That makes sense. Um, also, we're going to do today a little bit differently, okay? I hope that's okay. I hope you bear with me, right? I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a good time. Um, I don't have a super firm plan for what's going to happen here. Okay. I just want to start out by saying that. But we're going to get started, okay? And we're going to see how it goes. So, we're going to explore the sewers, okay? I have I have in front of me directions on how to get there. I'm going to be following the directions. Okay, the directions say to start by going left after the grace. We jump down into that grate. Okay. We're following the path, and we're looking to our right for a large pipe opening and going inside of it. And then, oh, that was where the rats were. Oh, yeah, yeah. Follow the path, being careful to jump over the hole, and then take the path that slopes upward. We're also just killing some slugs, because, you know, who doesn't like killing slugs, right? Um, I certainly, I'm pretty confident that I missed some items in the sewer area. Um, I did do a little bit of exploration, but nothing crazy. But mostly I was just trying to follow the directions that I have. So the directions here are to open all the shortcuts, right? And to get the grace that you need at the end of the area to be able to fight the boss. And for me, in the sewers especially, that's really helpful to like, get the shortcuts because then I feel like I can just go wherever I want to go after that, you know? Um, I don't feel like I'm limited or like I'm, if I'm getting lost, it's like not a problem, right? Because I can already go where I need to go. So um, take a right at the fork. Um, we're supposed to be climbing a ladder. I haven't been watching. <laughs> I've just been killing slugs. This is the reason why I did it this way, because I'm trying to follow the directions as, like when I'm playing, right? And I can't really follow the directions and play and think about what I'm talking about at the same time. <sighs> I don't I don't have enough like mental multitasking capacity to do these things. But anyway, we find this part that has the ladder and an omen. got a cool axe. He's got a buddy that's joining him. That's exciting. Right. Who doesn't love fighting two omens at once? Um, I fight a lot of omens in the sewer. <laughs> what I found is that the great shield helps a lot, obviously. There's a couple attacks that kind of ignore the great shield, but there's also a bunch of weapon swings that bounce off shield so that makes these guys a lot easier for this character than they might be for some others um, and also the big weapon helps because you can stagger them relatively easily uh, yeah somber smithing stone eight that's right i was excited to get to the sewer because the sewer actually has a couple of somber sevens in it which for whatever reason somber sevens are like the limiter you know, I can get eights and nines all day, but I can't get a whole lot of somber sevens. So we end up getting a couple of them eventually. Give that guy the business. We get to pick up his smithing stone seven. How exciting. And this is one of the shortcuts that we were coming for. The 
This is the one that's at the end of the first hallway. When you turn left outside of the main grace for the sewer, you have the grate that you can drop into on the left, or in front of you there's a big gate, so we just open that big, big gate that would be in front of you. And then these doors lead to the kind of drop-down area overlooking the grace for the boss, um, but it takes a little bit more effort to get to that grace. And a somber eight. Or a somber six. I can't see. It's tiny on my screen. <laughs> I think it's a six. We're trying to look and see if there's a way down here. There's not really. I know there's a speedrun strat. I do know that. There's a speedrun strat where you can make it down from that section by doing like a weird jump and you end up in the lift that you're supposed to get into. I'm not. That's not what I'm here for. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh, back to my directions. So when we were at the shortcut, then we went through the closed door. Okay. We hopped down to the path. And then we're going down the stairs, we're keeping, uh, making lefts as we continue to follow the path until we get to the flowers, and then we do that little turnaround right there. So you, you come back around into the sewer area again. And then we're going to, it says, continue straight to the end of the path, and then make a right, and go up the slope to enter a room with an omen and two ladders. And look, there's some basilisks! Oh my gosh, those are some of my favorite enemies! We've got one good basilisk so far. Can we get another one? He's trying very hard to death me. Gets fairly close, actually. And that guy, for some reason, I... I was thinking he might have been somebody to talk to, like a Gostock type character. I have no memory of that actually being the case. He just looked like that because he was just standing there. But um, yeah, that's not what he was. He's not a friendly. Don't try to talk to that guy. Okay, up the slope, enter a room with an omen and two ladders. Now this was weird to me because the directions say two ladders. There's not actually two ladders here at the moment. There will be, eventually, because there's a ladder that you have to kick down. Oh, excuse me, that you have to kick down in, into this room. But I don't have two ladders right now, right? I feel like those instructions could be a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. I'm not the one who made the instructions. I also shouldn't really complain, right? Because the instructions have been great for the most part, and, you know, somebody else took the time and effort to put that stuff together, and I'm just using it. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, whoever you are. Oh, speaking of which, I don't think I've ever actually linked this, like, this, you know, NPC questline checklist thing that I've been following. Um, maybe I'll drop a link to that into this one because I have been using it this whole time and uh, shout outs to, to whoever this is. And here is another shortcut. So these are the double doors that are right in front of that grace when you come out, the main sewer grace. And this is, I, I consider this to be like kind of the main sewer area that's got all these pipes up and down and crisscrossing and all this stuff. Just getting access to this area feels much more comfy to me because then it feels like I'm in the central sewer area and I can kind of go wherever I want from there. But we're still following the directions, so. Um, we took the pipe sloping upwards on the right after we came back in here. Follow it all the way to the top, and then hop down to the left. There we go. And then we're going to hop up onto the wooden path just above and go through the doorway. We're looking. We're looking at the directions. 
an ambush. Be careful. This is the second ladder that you can kick down into that room that we were in. So now there's two ladders in that room, right? There were not before. And then we're jumping into the pipe. It says, I think I got a little turned around at this point. So take the path going east, then turn left and immediately turn left again to go down the slope. So that was left, get the item, why not? And then immediately left again, down the slope. Follow the path going right to a hole. Oh, this is where I got confused. It says going right to a hole and jump into the hole this time. So I should have jumped into the hole. But I was trying to play and read and I thought it said, do not jump into the hole. So I skipped the hole. So we get to do a little bit of sewer exploration. And this is the part where I'm like, hey, the directions don't really say where to go. Yeah, it's because I didn't go where I was supposed to. So we're just kind of exploring around in the sewers. Hey, the directions don't say what to do here. And I think at this point, I pretty thoroughly realized that I had made a mistake and I was not where I was supposed to be. But, uh, you know, let's just keep going, right? Let's just explore the sewers a little bit. Let's see what we can see. Let's see what kind of cool items we can get, you know? Any cool items in these sewer pipes as I walk around through the filth and the garbage? And here the light bulb has gone off, okay? <laughs> I'm looking at my directions and it says jump into the hole. There you go. 
That was the secret. Also, that guy backstabbed us. That's pretty rude, to be honest. Now we can open this little door, a little shortcut, back into the sewer. But I don't want to do that. I want to get the heck out of this sewer at this point, right? Um, we are supposed to follow the path to find a ladder and then go down the ladder to see a giant pot. There's a ladder. And there's a giant pot. This is where we're supposed to be. Very nice, right? This guy's whole existence is just a croc. Thank you, shield. This is the lift that goes down to the grace that we need. So yeah, there's a speed run strat that lets you jump, drop into this uh, lift from up above, and you basically just bypass like the whole sewer section. It's pretty cool. But now we are at the grace, and this is where the directions for the sewer end, because you're basically done at this point, right? Like you don't have to do most of the rest of what I do here. Um, but I still wanted to explore, you know? I still wanted to see what we could see in this area. Get ourselves a couple of level ups. Dex is damage, right? That's what they say. Yeah, the Forsaken Depths Grace is where the boss fight is. And then we're going back and we're just going to do a little bit of the old sewer exploration. Okay, pick up some items. Um, I get to go back into this main area that, like I said, I kind of consider this to be like, this is the sewers to me, right? And everything kind of goes out from here. Um, there's nothing too crazy to pick up. There's a couple of, like I said, a couple of somber smithing stone sevens, which we had been looking for. Um, there ends up being a little dungeon further on. It's kind of a troll dungeon. Just the sewers, just the sewers. Good old sewer exploration.
There's also this other little shortcut that I found that's not on the directions that I have. This is the shortcut that is, if you're at the main sewer grace and you come out into that hallway and you go right that door over there, this is what that's opening. Taker's Flames skill. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Lobsters. Couple of couple of friendly lobster friends down here. I didn't know that lobsters could do this, by the way. I didn't know that lobsters could hit each other. But wow, am I glad that they can. You know what I'm saying?
Hey, it's Moog's Shackle. I didn't actually know this was down here. I'm, I'm assuming this is exactly the same as Margit's Shackle, but it works on Moog. Um, I forgot to use it, by the way. <laughs> Um, I, d I, I'm assuming also that it only works on the Moog in the sewers. It probably doesn't work on the real Moog. Spoilers that you might find somewhere else later on. Um, but I'm not sure about that. I wonder, maybe I should try to test that, you know? Or just look it up, because I'm sure the information's out there. Mm, I'll think about it. So this is another one of those really cool dungeons where it's basically got like a duplicated layout set up. And so it does that to try and trick you, right? And the key here is that little grave glove wart. Because this looks like a room that you've already been to. 
but the grave glove word wasn't there the first time. It's just a, an exact copy. They copy pasted the terrain. It makes you look like you've been here before. Hey, there's all these dead enemies in here because you killed everything, right? No, they're dead because they placed dead enemies in that room. Okay. Hey, there's a pillar down over here because I already put the pillar down, right? No, the pillar's down because that's how they placed it to make it look like the other area. And so you get all turned around, you get all confused. And I even, I, I knew that this was a duplicated layout and I still got a little bit confused. I still was like a little bit untrusting, right? Hey, maybe this is the same. No, it's not the same. It's not, it's a different area, right? And then you get here and you're like, oh wow, the boss door's open. I don't remember pulling a lever. Oh wow, there's no boss fog. What a weird situation, right? Such a troll dungeon. It really is. It really, really is. And then this is the point where you realize what's happening, right? If you didn't get there before, you're there now. Because this was not in the original layout. This is different. I'm looking down in the pit when I get here because there's a different dungeon where you have to drop down into a pit like that. I get them all confused, right? Because there's so many dungeons that have like very similar looking layouts. They copy paste different pieces of it here and there for different dungeons. Um, so I'm on the lookout for like little things like that that I remember. I don't know if we've already been to that one in this playthrough or if we haven't found it yet or what. I don't know. But And then we come to here, which kind of looks like the other part, right? Except this is where we're actually trying to get to because this is where the god darn lever is. That's what we've been looking for all along, man. Right? And that is what's going to open the actual door, which is what's going to lead to the actual boss fight. So that's what we were here for, right? Still turned around, still going the wrong way. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But we realize it pretty quickly and then we turn back around. And there we go. There's the real door. <gasps> and there's a boss fog. Thank goodness. Get me out of this place. Look, it's Esger, the priest of blood. Um, he's not really hard, right? He doesn't have a lot of HP. Um, but he does a lot of blood. And he's got a couple of dogs that do a lot of blood. 
kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, a little bit dangerous. <laughs> And he's got the Reduvia Dagger. Um, it's kind of like the fight from way back in the beginning of the game when you fight um, the invader. I'm trying to think of his name. I can't think of it. The invader that you fight outside of Patch's Cave. Anyway, it's kind of like that fight where he just spams Reduvia and it's actually kind of dangerous because of the blood loss. But luckily we're much further on in the game now, so he's not nearly as bad. And we get the Lord of Blood's Exaltation. That's a really good talisman for anybody that does a bleed build. And then this opens up our last shortcut of the area. Thank goodness. So this comes out. There's our little omen friend there. Um, this comes out where we opened up one of the other shortcuts. I believe this is the one that's to the right of the main sewer grace. Um, so now we, now we can go anywhere we want in the sewers, right? But we don't need to because we're done with the sewers. So we never have to come back here again. Nice. Well, hello there. We're back here at the end of the video to kill a boss, right? Or did I did I go to the right place? Yeah, there's a boss here, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, so yeah, that was the sewers. Ton of fun. I did a lot of exploration. I did a little bit of getting lost. Not too bad. I forgot there was a little, like, a little dungeon there at the end. That was cool. Um, and now we have... <gasps> it's Moog the Omen! I don't really remember the Moog fight. He's got blood. He's got... Fiery claw explosions. Oh yeah, I have Mimic. That's right. Don't forget about Mimic, because that'll help a lot. Oh, gosh. Hey, can I summon my buddy? Thanks. Moog is a bro sometimes. Right? No? I'm the only one who thinks that? Ouch. He's so big. How did he get so big down here? They grow him up good in the sewers, you know. Nice claw. Nice rain of blood. This guy's a uh, big fan of metal music, right? Rain and blood. Hey, my buttons are not working. I've really been frustrated with this controller today, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed that at all. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, but my movement has been... Like, you know that feeling? I don't know if you know that feeling, right? Where you, like, you try to tell your controller to do something, and it just doesn't quite do what it's supposed to do, right? Like, it's not like it's blatantly wrong. It's not like I press heal and it 
chooses to press something else instead. But sometimes it eats inputs, you know? And sometimes it just doesn't quite move me the way that I was supposed to move. It's kind of annoying. Go ahead and finish him off, Mimic. Good job, buddy. You did amazing as always. Hey, look, that guy has a flamberge. That's a good build. And we get the Blood Flame Talons spell, which is nice. We get a grace, we get a chest. Erd Tree's favor plus one. Hey, I'm using the Erd Tree's favor. Plus one sounds even better. It's not a huge difference, but you know, it's better. Might as well use it. And then we touch grace. And we rest. Ah, and we can talk to Melina. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, I ask that you cease. Uh oh. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Is there not? But what about chaos? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Melina. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. Did you ever consider chaos as an answer to the world's problems? Maybe you should think about that. Maybe now is the time to consider chaos... May chaos take the world, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be done for today. It's been a good one, okay? I've had a good time. I know it was a little bit different today. I hope that you had a good time also, okay? Let me know if you did or didn't, right? Hey, I don't like it when you or hey, I really like it. It was seemed like it was, you know, either way, just let me know. Let me know. Um, we're going to come back for next time and I will see you later.